a young married couple moving the last of their boxes into the living room. I can't believe we have to move into another fucking apartment. Honey, it's all we can afford. Yes, that's always the case with us. All we can afford. Everyone else we know has big homes with big windows, big yards, huge kitchens, their own parking spaces. I don't know. They have more money than us, I guess. And if you didn't spend our savings. Well, excuse me if I wanted nice things. I'm sick of living like this. A box falls on the floor. Hope it wasn't something valuable of mine. What is this? The wife comes upon a picture on the wall. The picture is a big house with big windows, parking garage, a giant silhouetted dead tree where the crooked branches cover the house, with the front door open. On the top of the house is an owl. His eyes are looking down. Oh, and of course, a house. A creepy ass looking house, but still a house. Hmm. Maybe it was the last tenants and they forgot to take it with them. Or a welcome gift from the landlord. <laughs> His wife glares at him. She turns back to the picture. Looks like a fifth grader drew this shit. Who would have this up here? Why are the owl's eyes looking down? Who knows? I don't want this up here. Take it down. I'm not taking it down right now. We gotta get through the rest of the boxes. Where's the light switch? The husband opens one of the boxes and pulls out two flashlights. He hands one to his wife. What is this for? To see around in the dark because we don't have power yet. Are you fucking kidding me? First this cruddy apartment, creepy picture on the wall, and now we don't have power? Anything else? Don't worry, honey. The repairman will be here in the morning. We're both tired. Let's just finish up so we can relax. I'm going to bed. The wife takes her flashlight and leaves the room. As the young couple is resting in the bedroom, suddenly the sound of hooting and screeching. The wife jumps up from her sleep, nudges her husband. Wake up. What? Do you hear the noise? It's... Like an owl or something. Listen. It's probably coming from outside. Then why does it sound like it's actually in the house? Oh, excuse me. The apartment. It's the first night here. You're gonna hear strange noises. The hooting continues. I can't sleep. Go check. The wife nudges him again. The husband sighs as he drags himself out of bed and takes his flashlight. <sighs> wife waiting silently. Moments later, the noise stops. The husband goes back into the bedroom, flashing the light in his wife's face. Stop playing around! Oh, thank God the noise is gone. I told you it was coming from outside. The husband clicks off the flashlight and crawls back into bed. Oh, not again. Can you go check? No, I'm tired. You brought us here. The husband falls fast asleep. Worthless loser, just like this apartment. The noise grows so loud, it's coming from the living room. The wife gets up, fumbles around the bed, picks up her flashlight, and follows the noise. Into the living room, the wife moves her flashlight around the room, bumping into boxes, even looking in the corners and the ceiling. No sign of an owl. She looks out the window, nothing but moonlight shining in. No owl. The hooting and screeching continues. Now, pushing through the boxes, the wife comes upon it, and it seems the noise is coming from the picture.
flashes the light. Right. It's you. Frantically searching around, she finds her pocket knife on the table. As she raises the knife, the owl's eyes are now looking right at her. The flashlight goes off. The pocket knife falls from her hand. Nothing left but the wife screaming. <coughs> the next morning. Sir, thank you very much for your patience. We know, with the stress of moving in and everything. Oh, it was no problem at all. Well, you and your wife are all set. Thanks again. Can't wait to see the expression on her face. The husband shakes the repairman's hand and ushers him out the front door. He goes over to the picture. Which now shows his wife in silhouette, screaming in terror, with the pocket knife pointed at her, trapped in the same big house with big windows, parking garage, the giant silhouetted dead tree where the crooked branches still cover the house. The front door closed as the owl looks straight ahead. Home sweet home. <laughs>